Woo, hey everybody. We're here from Sigma 3 Survival School today and we're gonna make us a javelin with a bone warhead on it. Stay tuned. So, like I said, we're gonna be making a bone javelin today, but we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna make one from scratch for this video in particular. I'll show you how to make one using nothing but just stone. All right, so strap in, get your favorite beer, adult beverage, you know, whatever, because we're gonna be here a while. This is how we're gonna do it. So, it's like when we did the bone gourd hook, you're gonna need a pretty decent abrasive stone. Okay, I mean by decent, you know, something that's pretty heavy duty, because we wanna hog this bone off of here, because I got my bone blank ready to go. And the bigger, the better, that way you can get all this surface area to, to grind off. And just like last time, we're trying to flatten all these high areas out, right? See, it's got that dip right there. I also have from the Bone Gorge hook video, I have a couple of my smoother polishing stones for when I wanna make this really nice and pretty to take a lot of the chunks out of it. A uh, cool little trick though, is you can just use a stone as is. It helps to wet it, right? Sprinkle some sand on there, makes it a little bit more abrasive and then you just you can hear it just really start grinding just really put your weight into it and start working the hell out of it so like i said if you're doing this for the first time i hope you got a six pack or more in your favorite tunes because you're going to be here a minute okay so i'm making some progress here you can uh see where the is starting to meet in the center starting to flatten out a little bit Okay, so I have a rough shape, but I think I want this nice uh, leaf shape eventually. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strategically break some of this off here off the corners, okay? That way, you know, I'm not just hacking away at it. So I'm gonna take a, another sharp rock. It's got these nice sharp edges right here. And then I'm just gonna come in here, start working my way into this. Okay, so I made a lot of progress here. As you can see, I have the general shape that I want. This didn't turn out the way I wanted it. I broke a chunk off in my process of working it here. There was a micro fracture that was in here and just, I, I was in a hurry and applied too much downward pressure and broke that off, all right? So it's just something to keep in mind also when you're using stone. If it's not smooth, like this one is pretty bumpy. You're gonna wind up applying leverage in a, small area you didn't realize and break a piece off if you ain't careful and ruin all your hard work so you know do take care with that i'm gonna start switching over this stone here start smoothing it out start trying to fine tune it rounded out the tips some more cleaned it up trying to bring my edges into true they're not going to be it's not going to be razor sharp along the edges but it's going to be fine anyway Uh, I'm getting it to where I want it. Before I put it on the shaft of the javelin now, I'm gonna put a couple of grooves in here to, you know, for when I put the cordage and everything like that to secure it to the shaft. It's not necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway, all right? And this is a section where you need to be delicate because you don't wanna go hacking at this. So, so I'm gonna come up a little from the bottom. I got a piece of janky looking sharp edge flint here, and I'm just gonna start working my way into this now this is going to be the longest tedious thing probably about this whole process and i've been here all damn day so i am not the most jolly of people right now but hey it is what it is a lot of y'all gonna feel the same way all right so i got this notch in here i also switched back over to hit this one on occasion if you can find a spot that really fits it, you can really apply some leverage. But keeping it wet is the key. So, okay, so I got two notches in this right here. I was gonna do four total, but I think I'm gonna stop at two. But I went through a series of different edges on these rocks and stuff like that to get these worn in. A little crooked, a little rough, but that's what happens when you're, you know, using stone. Anywho, now, 
Time to put a haft on this, okay? A long wooden handle for those who don't know what a haft is. Okay, so now we're going to attach our javelin bone warhead to a shaft, all right? The shaft should be about three to five feet long. Definitely no more than five feet in my opinion because javelins are meant to fly through the air, okay? Whereas spears, okay, are meant to be thrusted and stabbed with. It should also be made of a hard wood, okay? Something that's got a good dense hardcore. That way it's got the weight to deliver on impact. If you don't, that's fine. You can get away with that. It's not a big deal. And in some cultures, they even prefer to use a softer wood. Another thing is too, it should go tapered like this. Nice and straight all the way down. And at the very end, there's a very gentle swell here at the end. And I round that off. That way it's got a little bit of weight at the, a little bit of extra added weight at the end to drive home into my target. That being said, let's put this thing together. Okay, so I have my shaft right here. I don't know if y'all can see the grooves right there. I have a flat stick in here to pry it apart because I'm, I'm gonna put uh, some pine pitch in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this on the inside here. Now I'm just gonna remove this guy. Right, so that's a start. Now I'm gonna fill in this crack here with some because I am gonna come down here and put a, another piece of cordage down here so when this impacts, this doesn't split all the way down the shaft. Okay, so it's coming along really well. I just keep putting the pitch in here and molding, heating it up. It's pretty stout the way it is, but I'm gonna put a little extra security on it with a few wraps of artificial sinew. You can tie just any old knot in this that you want. I'm gonna do a timber hitch. It's not super important because I'm gonna seal it off with more pitch glue anyway. You just go till you feel it's secure. All right, got her tied off. Take a little bit more. Okay, so here it is. It's pretty much done. I'm gonna do one more thing to it before we're completely done. So one more thing, this thing will be ready to fly. Now this little tidbit here is you'll find it in lots of ancient Greek uh, Roman warfare manuals and some Roman and stuff like that. And this basically acts almost like an atlatl, but it's just a piece of cordage, okay? You put a fixed loop in it, then we're gonna do a pressic knot, which you put the knot up to the sky, take your loop here, one, then back through again, two times, dress it up, make sure none of your lines are crossing. Always try to make sure. There we go. Now the idea is it hooks here in your fingers, your hand goes here, and I'll show you here momentarily, but just like this. Okay, so here it is, our nice little bone warhead javelin. I got this little thrower back here, which if you look, like I said earlier, if you look at Greek and Roman war manuals, this was very common. Works almost like an atlatl, I guess you could say, on their javelins. I don't know if prehistoric man had done it. Anywho, here we are, all right? Now, if you like what you've seen today in this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Check us out at survivalschool.us. Sigma 3's entire training schedule is right there. We do host a instructor candidacy course three times a year. It's 45 straight days, okay? You get to hang out with me, drink beer, make cool stuff like this, throw it at stuff, which to stay tuned, I'm gonna throw this thing. Thanks for joining me on this video. If you guys have made anything cool like this or whatever, please like, comment down below. Have a nice conversation and uh, thanks for watching the video. But uh, stay tuned, we're gonna throw this bad boy. Yeah, this is so awkward in here. Definitely takes some getting used to. Thanks for watching and hopefully you make one yourself. Have endless fun throwing this at all sorts of targets. So thanks for joining me.